from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. <laughs> Here we are together again on the radio. Have you been following this outrageous Alex Rodriguez story? <laughs> Alex Rodriguez, who uh, Us Weekly claims on its cover, called that dried up old turkey neck Madonna his soulmate. You see that? Oh, baby. This from the Fox News website. Cynthia Rodriguez still loves Alex Rodriguez. What is done with the marriage, she told gossip columnist Cindy Adams. Rodriguez, 35, also told Adams that she is, quote, not out to mutilate Aaron, 32, and denied reports of a recent revenge shopping spree in Paris. Not one word of these stories is true, she said. I never before in all my married life together with, ever went away without my husband or family, not once in 13 years. I did not spend one dollar shopping in Paris. I did not go to super fancy expensive restaurants. I did not go to any spa. I didn't do one thing. I spent the most innocent four days with my children's godparents who are as close to us as family. She said, my husband and I were already into our problems and I didn't know where to go, what to do. I needed to think, to clear my hand. Earlier this week, a former Boston stripper said she slept with the Yankee third baseman twice in 2004. In divorce papers filed in Miami-Dade County Family Court, Cynthia accused A-Rod of, quote, extramarital affairs and called their six-year marriage, quote, irretrievably broken. Cynthia did not name names in her six-page petition. Her lead lawyer, Earl Lilly, denied spec. Thank you for that. So, uh, denied speculation <laughs> that Rodriguez had a sexual relationship with Madonna. 49 calling it an affair of the heart. It wasn't sexual infidelity, Lily told People Magazine. Cynthia and A-Rod have been married for more than five years. She has asked for primary custody of their two kids, Natasha Alexander, uh, she's three years old, and two-month-old Ella Alexander. They all have the middle name Alexander. What is that all about? Okay as well as child support and alimony. And that moron, Alex Rodriguez, um, in the first season of a $275 million 10-year contract with the Yankees, a deal that allows him to earn up to $305 million. <laughs> Is that amazing? Now... You know, I talk to you stupid boys on the phone who call in here and complain and you talk about uh, the situations you're in with your girl and 
you know, she wants you to pay $50 a week child support or something. Here's a guy who could make $300 million during this contract. Let's just say he makes $300 million. How much of that is going to her? Like, here's a guy who certainly shouldn't have gotten married, shouldn't have had kids. How about you wait until your baseball career is over? How about you wait until your salary is zero? You know, build up your bank account. Build up your investment portfolio. I mean, if you're Alex, uh, Alex Rodriguez, would you get that involved like that with women? That you would get married? That you would end up being financially responsible to them? I just can't imagine this. You know, I myself last year signed a five-year contract with CBS. I can't imagine having to give half of that to somebody. I can't. Why would I want to? Why would anybody want to? So, number one, you're stupid to get married. Number two, you're stupid to have kids under these circumstances. Three, you are stupid in New York City, where you apparently lived or grew up or whatever, Alex Rodriguez. You are stupid to think you're going to get away with doing anything through the back door. Because they're going through your garbage cans right now looking for evidence on you. Us Weekly claim, no matter what this interview with Cindy Adams said, Us Weekly claim that Cynthia Rodriguez has text messages between Alex Rodriguez and Madonna and is threatening to release them. That's what it said in Us Weekly. You understand, son, and I'm going to call Alex Rodriguez son for a moment, you understand, son, you did not have to be married or have children or have the gossip columns following you to this extent. Oh, sure, they'd always be interested in your personal life. You're the highest paid baseball player in the world. But nobody could be critical of you if you weren't so stupid as to make this commitment and get married. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What is your reaction to this? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. When you're alone, you wake up. You got a hundred different things you can do in one day, right? When you're in a relationship, you have one thing: what she wants to do. It's the Tom Likas Show. I don't mean for screwing around. I mean for getting married. Opening the vault like that. Unbelievable. Lindsay on the top. Like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hi, Lindsay. I am so happy right now. This is the stupidest man I've come across in quite a long time. And he is going to get the best grew of his life in the next couple of months to years that he just needs to bend over and take it like a man most regular you know relationships i'm sure she would be a little upset and i'm sure she's kind of upset about what's happening but she can wipe away her tears with all of his millions of dollars that she's going to run away with and let his butt go i'm just so excited for her i would be laughing all the way to the bank i mean i don't know why in the world he would expose himself to that how arrogant arrogant and i mean he's stupid I, it, he thinks that i'm sure he's thinking that no matter what he does she will stay with him and she's better off without him because in the long run she'll get more out of it by the way i might add that uh even if he was a good boy and did nothing exactly. all she has to do is stay around till the end of his playing career when he's made the the most money he's ever made and then file papers that's right, and she did, and I'm very excited for her. I am just have the biggest smile on my face, because normally in situations like this, women get screwed. I know how you feel about it, but a lot of times women do get screwed, and I know she won't. So I'm I don't think, uh, by the way, I don't believe that women generally get screwed. I think women generally get taken care of pretty well in court, divorce court. Mm, yeah, I guess it depends, but again, she would probably be really upset if she was in a regular situation to where she wasn't financially secure and if he didn't have much, but 
I wouldn't even worry about it. I, I would just be laughing all the way to the bank. So. Well, I'm, I'm sure she's not worried about it. Of course, I'm sure her ego is taking a blow here. Yeah, anything in like the public eye like that. I mean, that's awful. And he obviously wasn't thinking with anything but what was below his belt. So. Well, you know, by the way. I've been divorced four times, so let me just say this. I know nothing about this marriage, but let's talk about marriages in general. Uh, the fact is, when a man goes and screws around, there are there can very well be at least two sides to the story. Right. We have no idea what Mrs. Alex Rodriguez did or did not do, would or would not do in bed. Right. Well, to be honest, she doesn't look like the nicest person when you see pictures of her, even before this broke, she's never really friendly or, you know, she, so I'm, I'm sure she's a bitch, but regardless, I mean, he, he made his bed, so. So uh, tell me why you're happy about this exactly, so I understand. <laughs> I know it is kind of evil to feel that way, but I I'm happy that he is going to suffer that punishment because I feel he is arrogant and he always has been since he first broke out. That he's so great and so, you know. So you don't like him as a player? No. Mm -mm. Just in, you know, in general, I think he's an ass. And, and so now he's, he's, it's coming to him and he obviously didn't think about the consequences. Well, I mean, maybe he did. Maybe he did think about the consequences and he'd rather give her, you know, his money than have to live with her one more day. Who knows? Well, I mean, he, I guess, has no choice when it gets right down to it. But still, right. had he not gotten married, he would have a choice. That's true, yeah. I don't know why he he would do that unless he was really stupid or in love. I don't know. I mean, I use this as an example to the guys. This is what you should not do. You should not be getting married. No, you shouldn't because revenge for women, it, it, it's... It's crucial. I mean, it is seriously. You do something to us, and we want to take revenge. And usually the only way to get that, because you can't affect a man emotionally, the only way to get them is with their pocketbook. And well, of course, of course, women cheat, too, and rarely pay alimony for it. Right, right. A and, and so it's my belief that we shouldn't have alimony. Okay. Right. Um, the you know the idea that there should be punishment for screwing around. It's a one way street. It's like the death penalty. You know, right. only men are punished. Right. Yeah. Do you think do you think that's right? Um, not necessarily, but it's just the dynamics of our society. It's just generally. Yeah, but you agree with it. Um, I don't. I I'm just saying that that you is said you're happens. feeling good about this. Well, I do. I I do because he's. I think he's an ass, and I I just feel like he he should have had better smarts than to put himself in a situation that he's in. So well, I don't that part I agree. I that part I agree on. But I, I just don't believe that women should be able to terrorize men into monogamy. No, no, I agree with you. It, it's not. You can't. No matter. Well, and I mean, you understand how the system works. I don't know about Cynthia Rodriguez. I know nothing about her. Okay, but the way the system is set up, a woman can get married, and you've donated your sperm for a couple of kids, and you've paid the bills, and then she can say, "Oh no, we had sex in April. Why don't we need to have sex in July? I don't understand." <laughs> How about we have sex on Christmas Eve? You know, it's very romantic. And then on Valentine's Day. Uh, and so that woman can do that. Uh, as a step further, you can then come home later and find her on the floor having sex with your best friend right there in the living room. Yeah. And after all that, she can still get alimony. Well, the problem is, though, is that's not... Withholding sex from your husband is not a breach of... Unfortunately, it's not. Actually, 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 if you believe the Bible, which I don't. No, yes. I said it is, breach. Yeah. it is I, a breach. It is a breach. I totally agree with you. I agree on the moral and, you know, the religious part of it. But a legal breach, you cannot get out of a marriage because of that. But you Yeah, could. actually, well, uh, darling, yeah, actually, we have no fault divorce. Actually, you can get out of a marriage for no reason. Right. What I'm saying is for adultery, that could be, you know, claimed as the reason. Adultery for is not, uh, by the way, adultery is not uh, uh, a reason for alimony to be paid. And it has nothing to do with alimony and how much you pay. Well, it could possibly be based on if he has a prenup, though. If he has a prenup and it says that if he commits alimony, he has to pay, it could be. Right. But I don't right. know that to be the case. No, I don't know either. I'm you know, I'm just throwing that out there, but 
if that is the case, then he's even stupider than originally, because then he knew well, <laughs> if that was in there. And he, if he, he had did. a prenup, it should say she gets nothing in the event of a divorce except what he's legally required to pay, which is child support. Right. Unless of adultery. I've heard that be, in, you know. Well, in I, would, I would say no to that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's not like he's marrying, uh, you know, a, a 22-year-old Playboy model here. No, she's really not that good looking, actually. That's my not, point. Not compared to his, you know, looks. I mean, he Which is, is why everybody should discuss that prenup before getting married, because you have to realize what you're paying for. Right. <laughs> Hang on a second, Lindsay. John, what did you want to say to Lindsay here? Tom, how's it going, father? Great, son. Hey, okay, so I want to tell, want to ask Lindsay. She says uh, she thinks Ta, uh, Alex Rodriguez is an a-hole here. Has she, has she ever seen him play baseball? Has she ever seen an interview with him? Um, I, ha I have seen a couple interviews, yes. Okay, c can you tell me why you think he's such an a-hole? You know, I, it's nothing that y you're you're right. It's nothing that he's ever directly said it's just his his way of carrying himself that i've seen not in interviews but in when he, just he's walking in some place or um you know being forceful through you know the crowd or things like that that i just feel i get this vibe from him that he's just not a that, nice person but he's that he's the greatest player that doesn't use steroids and i might not like the guy not that he's on the yankees but you know since texas seattle manners this guy's proven himself to be a great baseball player he can carry himself like that. He's no Barry Bonds. He doesn't go to court. Let the guy do whatever he wants. Well, I mean, that doesn't give him the right to do whatever he wants. I mean, that's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to be a natural, good athlete. Just and carry himself, like him he's a, carry himself like he's a great athlete, right? Well, that doesn't mean he has to be a jerk and be arrogant. Is that what a great athlete's supposed to be? Look at Roger Clemens here. Roger Clemens, every time he stepped up onto the mound, he told people, I threw it at the batter's head to intimidate him. Wouldn't you want to be intimidating, have people be scared of you? Yeah, that Keep your was legend on the baseball field, though. We're talking about out of the baseball field. It's one thing to be arrogant on the field when you're playing and you're in the game. That's a whole different mindset. It's another thing to be that way outside when you're walking around with your family in public. Well, you know, he's not, he's not walking around with his family cheating on a, his wife right in front of her. So, so he, let his business be his business. If he's going to lose half his money, let him do it. Just... Let this guy be as arrogant as he wants, because he is the man. Yeah, he's paying for it now. He's going to, so. Hey, when he gets into the uh, Hall of Fame, I don't think that uh, money situation is going to be hurting him very much, and I don't think that lady situation is going to be hurting him very much either. No, I'm sure he'll overcome. I mean, he makes enough money to where it's not going to affect him that much, but she'll be well off, so. Uh, she'll, she'll be well off, and she'll be married to a nobody in the future. How about that? I'd stick with A-Rod. <laughs> All right, uh, John, thank you for that. I appreciate the call. Let me get Jim in here. Jim, what did you want to say here to Lindsay? Is she just stupid or what about alimony? I mean, I got a divorce. My ex-wife was sleeping with everybody but me, and I still had to pay alimony for this. <laughs> well, why was she sleeping with everybody else but you? What's wrong with you? Because she's what? got the same stupid attitude you got about having sex with her own husband. No, I have sex with my husband every night, thank you. You don't know anything. Yeah, and if you decided you didn't want to, wouldn't you want money from him? No, I wouldn't be married if I didn't want to have sex with my husband. That's well, that's such a blanket statement about alimony. That's the stupidest thing I've heard anybody say. No, I was referring to it being in a prenup, sir. You should have listened to what I said. A prenup? What does a prenup have to do with having sex? Does it mention if you stop having sex in a prenup that you got to pay? Tom, I don't think he was listening to anything that I was saying. I was referring to if it says in a prenup that there was adultery, then you may be able to get paid based on what it says and what the wording is. But you're so, saying the man. My ex-wife didn't have to pay me, and she was the one having adultery. Did it's you have always a the man that has to pay, and you're one of those types that agree with it. Well, what, what, and it's also based on your income, too. So if she was making no, my, you my, or, Are you capable of working? Do you have two legs and two arms? Can you get a job? I have a job. Okay, and if you cheated on your it husband, sounds like you're very money, angry you at your ex-wife. That's where you need to. That's where you need to put your anger. You, would you expect your husband to pay if you went out and had a, uh, committed adultery on him because he made more money than you? Say that again. If I had, if you because your husband makes more money than you, you expect him to make up your difference in salary if you went out and had adultery on him. 
Is that your thought process and all of this? No, if he had adultery on me. If I cheated on him, I wouldn't expect anything. If he That's what they him, all say right up until they get into court. I don't okay. expect it. They That's all say the same thing. It's a very That's blanket, a blanket statement. statement. You, right. you say what every other woman would say. I don't want money right up until you get in front of a judge. Give it all to me. I want it all. They all well, say the same thing. There's obviously a reason your wife wasn't sleeping with it's you. It's not so just me. It's a hundred other people. Millions of other guys have the same thing happen. It's a there's proven fact. Somehow. It's a proven fact. The man always pays. Well, then stop getting married. I got married once, and I learned my lesson. Good. I'm, I'm glad that you learned something from that, but you should but you can't, at her, not me. You can't tell me women don't want the money. You can't tell me that, because they do. I, I did I say, made 10 I said cents that more than you, you would want it. I said that women get revenge in situations like what Cynthia Rodriguez is in, and the revenge to a man is not emotional. We can't go sleep with someone and get so revenge because this, so what we this do guy, is get your money. So this That's guy busted his butt. He busted his butt all growing up to become the best babe fall player supposedly in the world, and you despise him for it. No, I don't despise him for that. I think he's a great player. But have a little bit more, um, you know, toward when you're out in public, don't be such a jerk about it. You know, Why not? He's on that right, hasn't he? Everybody's, how many A-Rod jerseys do you see out there? Obviously, a lot of people like him. Maybe they do. I mean, I mean, I'm... I can't speak for other people. I'm just saying, just because. Well, hey, watch it, opinion. watch it, watch it. We're on the oh, air. Sorry, sorry. Well, I don't know. That's I think my women piece. in general just have that attitude about men should pay them no matter what they. Well, I, I don't agree with that at all. Okay, well, there's a lot out there that do. You have I'm a good day. Sure there are. All right, Lindsay, Jim, thank you for the calls. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Mary on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Daddy. Hi, dear. Hey, I, I really don't understand what the big hoopla is about. Uh, men cheat on their wives all the time, and I think in the case with A-Rod, I think he's been cheating on her their entire relationship. And it's the misconception, and a lot of you women listening need to understand that they don't become faithful when you marry them. And I think she went into it thinking, oh, we're going to get married, we're going to have kids, it's going to be great. And he's still the same animal that he's always been. I, but, but the point is, he's, he's an athlete. And this is the attitude of athletes, and by the way, entertainers and lots of other people. Truly, truly, the uh, the sense of entitlement is is overland. Well, it's not just a sense of entitlement. I mean, the fact is, you should know when you marry an entertainer, whether it's a TV news reporter, as I once did, or whether it's a, 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 a athlete or whatever, uh, that these are people who know the rules are different for them. Well, I don't, I don't think the rules are different for. Yes, I, they I, are. They should be faithful, but they are under the spotlight. So every, I mean, every time they sneeze. No, but the rules are different for that. Any woman or will sleep with or any man if they are entertainers. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely agree with that philosophy. But um, I mean, I mean let's you know, let's look at who A Rod is accused of sleeping with a forty nine year old married woman. And you watch, Tom. That is going to—that is a total publicity stunt by Madonna. She's got a tour coming up. You think he would? Oh, I agree. I—I I totally agree. I totally. You know what? I agree with you. In fact, my opinion is that Madonna would have an affair with Alex Rodriguez just to promote herself. Completely now, agree. I, I could be wrong, but that's my opinion. And, and yeah, she's learning from Britney Spears basically on how to how to get the wrong type of publicity. Well, when you're 49 and an old turkey neck, there is no wrong publicity. I guess so. I guess so. Oh, gosh. I, just, I was really enjoying the conversation before this, so I was cracking up on that guy. Cause, uh, I'm sure as hell he didn't have a prenup because he didn't sound smart enough to do anything. Well, you might be right about that. Thank you so much. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Luke on the Tom Likas show as we discuss... Uh, the Alex Rodriguez divorce and all the hoopla about it. Hello. Hi, Tom. Uh, Hi. 
kind of wondering how I can get married without, I guess, losing all my money. Why much. do you need to get married? Let's start with it. Uh, someday to have kids. You can have kids without being married. Yeah, no, I don't think the girl will go for it, though. Well, uh, there there are girls who would go for it, so maybe you were the wrong girl. Maybe, yeah. I mean, if I find a girl to do that, more power to it. But That's what Craigslist was made for. <laughs> but um, I don't know. You got any advice on maybe... Uh... I mean, a prenup works only so much, but... Well, that's right. That's the best hope you have. The best way to protect yourself is not to get married. <laughs> okay, I guess that'd be one way to do it, but... Let me tell... Well, what other ways are there? I'm, I'm listening. Well, I don't... Uh, most girls around here aren't going to get married or have a kid without getting married or... Are you kidding me? Well, do you know, many, do you know how many out-of-wedlock births there are? Billions, man. But <laughs> what do you mean their girls won't do that? They're doing it constantly. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. But I don't want to. I don't want to go like that. I kind of want the normal life where you get married, have a family. Well, the normal life these days is that half of all marriages end in divorce. That's the normal life. You want that? Not at all. That's why I'm afraid of getting married. You have a baby. Uh, you are committed, and then later you get divorced, and you end up sending a check and hardly ever seeing your kid. That's yeah. the normal way these days. The normal way you're talking about is the day of your grandparents. That day is long gone. <laughs> so old fashioned's gone, huh? Why are you laughing? You realize you realize you could just adopt a child as a single man. Yeah, but I'd rather have my And pay pay nothing to nobody. Huh. I guess yeah, you could do that, but no, I'd rather have my own. I was just seeing if there's a way to Get married and, no, I mean, if you lose, you know, the... Well, marriage, you could also hire a surrogate mother. You could do that, I guess, yeah. Yes, you could. Uh, well, thanks, Tom, for trying to help. <laughs> well, try now, but see, you're going to get married anyway. Uh, someday, And yeah. then you'll be one of the ones calling in here, Tom, I'm getting divorced. What do I do now? She said uh, she's going to take everything I've got. What do I do? I get That's going to be you. No, no, no. You're that. That's other people, man. If you get the no, no, no. That's you. That's gonna be you. No, that's everybody else. <laughs> oh Jesus, you really are delusional. Tom Likas. I'll date a woman for about like two months before she starts going. Oh well, you know, either we you know, become exclusive or else. And it's like, oh, well, good knowing you. Bye. Simple. They cry, they moan, they, you know, whatever, but it doesn't, it doesn't fake me. I just okay, it works, you know what I mean? I do. I'm a Tom Likish listener to the fullest. The Tom Likish Show. <laughs> the Tom Likish Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We are talking about the Alex Rodriguez divorce and all of the hoopla surrounding it at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number, 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello here to Kelly on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Daddy. Hi, dear. How are you? Great. I was calling in, I think, and don't get me wrong, when I got married, I had a prenup. He didn't want to sign. I said, okay, honey, that's fine. You don't have to sign. We don't have to get married. So I I completely understand that. But that's the only way to get back at somebody. When I cheated on him, had he, you know, when we were not having it, having marital relations and I needed to go elsewhere to have that had he done that to me it wouldn't have hurt one bit that would what? not have concerned me one bit what would that have concerned you if he cheated on you yeah because I was already having relations of elsewhere because I wasn't getting it at home I was going to get it somewhere else well the, the, the thing about these stories like like Alex Rodriguez well, is that everybody? That everybody assumes anyway. the guy. Everybody assumes the guy's just a creep, and who knows? Maybe no, he's a creep. He is. I mean, he 
she played here. Oh, no, I'm a huge A-Rock fan. The man is immensely talented, and, you know, who cares if... <laughs> Who cares if that's what he wants to do? But but that's I mean that's how I know in my case that's how he would have gotten me back. In in my particular case is in the pocketbook. I protected everything I had before I got married. And if but that but that's the only way he could have gotten me back. Interesting. Um, is is but I, I but I, by the way I don't I I don't care if it's the man or the woman I don't think that uh, that's. Uh... Uh, a good idea. I don't think it's fair. I don't think uh, because the fact is that alimony laws generally work in an unfair manner. Uh, the fact is the way these laws are set up, a woman can have sex with a man's best friend and then sue that man for alimony. In Texas, you have to be married ten years, so you know how we don't have we don't. They aren't set up quite as quite as unfairly. Well, in glad Texas to hear that. that. I'll tell you what, that's yeah. reason enough to establish residency in Texas. <laughs> Besides the women. That, well, that too. Besides the women. But I just wanted to call in. I think that's the only way that she can get back at him. I mean, unless she has, you know, unless she did shack up in Paris with Lenny Kravitz. But, you know, if she did, more power to her. It's better than Madonna. <laughs> Anything's better than Madonna, as far as I'm concerned here. Thank you, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the telephone number. Let's say hello here to Nicole on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Nicole. I just want to say, everyone who dates a college athlete and then a professional athlete knows they're cheaters. I was a cheerleader in college. All my friends played baseball and, and basketball, and they were the worst cheaters, but the girls that married them knew that. But they went into it like I'm going to marry a professional baseball player. So they went and found the the biggest the biggest player on the team and married them. And they knew 100 percent that they were going to cheat on them. They just did. And it's 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 no shock to these women. It's just their opportunity to cash out and play a victim. Yeah. Well, that might be true. I mean, everyone knows that. I mean, professional athletes, you had mentioned, you know, rock stars and movie stars. That is, that's what is there. If you have pins throwing themselves at you all day long, it's not a shock. I mean, Will Power Well, that's what I would think. I mean, come on, does anybody, by the way, how many of these women start off as groupies themselves? Exact, that's exa well, that is exactly how they started off. They showed up at the games, and they stayed at all the games, and afterwards when the players were done, because I was friends with all of them, that's what would happen. They would show up at the hotel rooms when we traveled with them. They would they would look them up at, at the hotel. They'd be waiting in the rooms, waiting for them. So that's how these women start out. Um, and so it's not a, it, it's not a shock to these women. As much as we want to pretend and they'll pretend that, oh my God, I'm a victim. Poor me, poor me. They know what they're getting themselves into. It's a sacrifice they made for the lifestyle that they wanted. I, and, I do believe there's a lot of them out there like that. I'd say, I'd say at least 80% of the women, of the friends that I have that play professional baseball, their wives 100 percent knew. Then they walk around playing the victim. He cheated on yeah. me. Our well, children. What funny. about our children? What about our children? Yeah. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to need to get the most money I can to sit all to support my kids. And they, they, that's the first thing they do when they when they get married. When they marry, they always have children. Immediately, it's their insurance policy. So now, when they do cheat, and if they they're tired of it and they want out, now they have their insurance policy that nobody will. They'll look like a victim and a martyr. Oh, poor me! I need to take half his money. Yeah, it's it's really it's really sad. Women play dumb all day long. You know, even I do it because I'm a smart girl. So sometimes it behooves me to act stupid. We all do it. It's just a fact of life, and the fact that people believe that these women are stupid, is it makes me think that it's unbelievable. These women know exactly what they're getting themselves into. So all those women that are calling and saying, oh, these poor women, cheat, their husbands cheat on them, please. You get, what you, you get what you get. You get what you give, and these women knew what they were getting themselves into. So it's not a shock to them. I, so, I think you're probably right. Yeah. So that's all I want to say. Just from from personal experience, I've seen it. These girls knew. It's 
don't feel bad for them. They knew what they got. I think you're right, Nicole. Thank you for that. Here's Lisa on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yeah. Um, earlier when you made the comment about women terrorizing men, women do not terrorize men. Oh, yes, men they terrorize do. women. What if no, no. a woman looks at a man? Women the terrorize what women men. At, what? Women terrorize men. If a woman looks at her waiter and goes home and is beaten. Ooh, just because you, you just is. because you are one of these sick individuals who decides to hook up with abusive men doesn't mean that that's uh, the way everybody I feels. I never hooked up with an abusive man. It was my father. I saw it my entire life. Mm. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. I have nothing to do with it. But right. you're talking about women terrorizing Well, clearly, men. clearly you, know you, you are with that? Clearly, you still need therapy, dear, because the fact I is that... I am in therapy. Good. But you need to realize... Sounds like you need even more. You do not use the word terror. Yes, I do. Finances. Yes, I do. Women no, terrorize no. men. Yes, they do. And I did. Oh, and there's okay. nothing you can do about it. So how many women do you know of go home and beat their husbands? Uh, it doesn't matter if they beat them. They also terrorize them with money. They terrorize money? them with threats of money. Yes. My God. That's right. you go and you spend too much money at the grocery store and you attack? And you attack? Again, if you hook up with guys like that, I can't I help don't. you. I never have. Those who do so are sick know. like you. What? Those who do are sick like you and they need help. But you can't use the same word. You cannot use the word I just terror. Did. Terror. You cannot use the word terror. Yes, I can. Well, yeah, you can use whatever damn word you want to. That's right. You can't say terror if you yes, don't know what terror is. If I know what terror is. If you've never experienced terror, you can't use the word. You have no idea what I know and what I don't know, what I've experienced and what I haven't. You have no idea. All you're talking about is money. It's just money. No, that's no, no, that's not all we're talking about. Okay, then what are you talking women about? Terrorize what are you talking uh, about that women, women terrorize men with that. Women terrorize. Well, I'm, if you will let me finish, I will tell you. Women terrorize men, threatening not to let them see their children, kidnapping their children and taking them to other states, and the judges let them get away with it. Men paying child support on children they never see, children they love, children they care about. Are you kidding? That women do terrorize men into monogamy. What do you mean into monogamy? That's what are you what talking you said. about? Women terrorize men into oh. monogamy. Well, that's Those true. Your words. If you want that, well, that's true. Well, that's well, true. Well, darling, you if, you would, if you would tell me the correct quote, I would certainly respond to the quote that you are referring to. And as far as terrorizing men into monogamy, uh, threatening to take them for everything they've got if they cheat on them is certainly terrorizing them. I would never say that it's right for a woman to cheat on a man. And it's no. not right for a man to cheat on a woman. Doesn't matter if it's right it or wrong. Explicitly doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. It doesn't matter, matter if it's right or wrong. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. Money is not going to cure that problem. No, of course money is not going to cure. Giving sure, people like alimony. A woman terrorizes a man for money. They oh do. God, money? What? Money? They do. I don't. They, no don't money is not, not. The only people who say money is nothing are people that don't have any. Oh, I have plenty of money. No, you don't. Oh, I do. And you know what? Every time I get upset, my daddy gives me money. Mm. Well, if your uh, father was terrorizing you, did you call so the police? What you're actually saying is, did you call the police? Who are terrorized or did whatever? Did you call the police when you became an adult? Did you call the police? I have more when, money than when I you became money. an adult. Did you call the police? What? When you became an adult, did you call the police? Did I call the police? Why? On your terrorizing father. No, my mother left him. So what? That doesn't mean that what he did uh, wasn't illegal. You could have called the police and turned him in. Doesn't mean the limitations were up. No well, who even knows? Yeah. The minute you were out of there, you could have called the police, and so could your mother have done that. And then, by the way, protected other people from being terrorized, as you said. This does not make what you said right. You didn't it care what happened to other people. Oh, yes. Right. Well, what I said is right. There's no doubt about that. No, but on top of that, wrong. you it didn't wrong. care what there happened to no other people. You money. didn't care. Your no mother terror. didn't care. You did. You just didn't care, did you? Yeah, that's right. I didn't care. That's right. I didn't care, and I still don't care. That's really damn obvious, isn't it? I, it, it is, actually. Oh, okay. Well, I hate my mother. I love my father. He gives me money. There we go. Good luck in therapy, Lisa. You need more of it.
The Tom Likas Show.